I'm Mike Dilks and I'm an ENT surgeon, ear, nose and throat surgeon at Health Hub in London. People come to me for tonsillectomy because they have symptoms and these symptoms can range from recurrent bad sore throats, otherwise known as tonsillitis, to obstructing their breathing at night with snoring and sleep apnea, to tonsil stone formation, bad taste and bad breath. I perform two types of laser tonsillectomy. One is the tonsillotomy, which is a partial removal of the tonsil under local anaesthetic, just using spray, no injections. I say that it's a lunchtime treatment, which means you can go home or go back to work straight away after surgery. So she's going pretty numb now. Uh, we're going to wait a little bit longer. It can be an odd feeling in the throat. It makes some people feel a bit nervous and a bit agitated because the brain doesn't know what's going on. It thinks, it thinks you can't breathe. Of course you can breathe. You just breathe your way through it. The other one is a laser tonsillectomy, which is under general anaesthetic, when we use the same laser, perhaps under some slightly higher power. So it's a more complete procedure, but it does mean you're in hospital for the day. It does mean you've got a couple of days off work. And my feeling is that people should have general anaesthetic tonsillectomy for very large tonsils and local anaesthetic for the smaller ones. The procedure itself takes sometimes as little as five minutes. With bigger tonsils though, it does take longer and sometimes we can, we can spend six or seven minutes per side. Generally my patients complain of a mild sore throat for three, maybe four, sometimes five days. So they just take paracetamol or, or ibuprofen, which they get over the counter from their chemist. The reason there is so little pain after this procedure is that we're not exposing the muscle of the throat or the blood vessels. The laser tonsillotomy basically vaporizes the tonsil tissue. So you don't see anything. Patients always say to me, where's the tonsil gone? And I point to a filter in the corner and say, it's been turned into dust and it's in that filter. We've performed over a thousand cases and have not had one person who's needed to have intervention for bleeding at any stage, whether during the operation or afterwards. We don't clamp the mouth open with horrible metal devices. You just simply open your mouth yourself, hold it open, deep breath in, and then a slow ah. And as you're saying that ah, with your mouth wide open, we have the laser beam in your mouth and we are vaporizing your tonsils. Okay, so? I don't think we're going to do it on the right side. We'll do the same on the left side of the done. You okay with that? The laser tonsillotomy is available worldwide. It's quite commonly performed in America and Germany. But in the UK, very few surgeons do this. I travelled a lot as a junior surgeon, as a, as a young consultant. And I watched these techniques and I learned them. And I felt they offered real advantages, so I brought them back to the UK. Technology has improved year on year. And the laser we have now is the Carl Zeiss carbon dioxide laser system. It's a more reliable system, it's a more robust system than previously. So I'm very happy that currently we have the very best system available worldwide. Mm -hmm.